Republican Attorney General candidate Matt DiPerno is currently under investigation for his alleged involvement with a group that conspired to tamper with election equipment used in the 2020 election. These are allegations that DiPerno flatly denied and called, quote, total garbage. He is a lawyer from Kalamazoo whose candidacy has been endorsed by former President Donald Trump. DiPerno has also been a vocal denier of the 2020 election results and says his opponent, Attorney General Dana Nessel, is using her office to damage his aspirations. An investigation into the incident has been underway through the Michigan State Police and the AG's office. Over the weekend, Nessel requested a special prosecutor take over the investigation since her and DiPerno are running against each other. According to the prosecuting attorney's coordinating counsel, the charges include but are not limited to using a computer system to commit a crime, willfully damaging a voting machine, malicious destruction of property, fraudulent access to a computer or computer system, and false pretenses. Neither Nestle and her office nor the Michigan Secretary of State are able to comment on the investigation. We will continue to follow the story as it unfolds. Following the sudden departure of former Grand Ledge Public School Superintendent Dr. Marcus Davenport, the school board has officially appointed a new superintendent. Monday night, the board voted to name Dr. Bill Barnes as the new superintendent. The president of the Board of Education announced back on July 28th that Dr. Davenport was seeking immediate resignation due to unforeseen health issues. At Monday night's meeting, the board motioned to name Dr. Barnes as his replacement pending successful contract negotiations. The board president praised Dr. Barnes, saying the board is confident in his leadership and dedication. The last two men facing federal charges for allegedly plotting to kidnap and kill Governor Gretchen Whitmer were back in court this morning for jury selection. Adam Fox and Barry Croft are back on trial after their previous jury failed to reach a verdict on any of the charges brought against them. The result in April was a blow to federal prosecutors. They had set out to show that extremists were committed to snatching Whitmer and causing chaos close to the election between Joe Biden and then-President Donald Trump. The trial means another public airing of secretly recorded conversations, text messages, and social media posts. Defense attorneys will argue that Fox and Croft were shielded by the First Amendment when they expressed malicious opinions and were entrapped every step of the way by agents. Stay with Fox 47 News as we continue to follow the trial.